welcome back to Brave Mama's channel. Um, today I'm going to be revealing to you, well not a complete reveal, but I'm going to be doing an unboxing for you all for um, some of my curri curriculum, not all of it, but today as I was getting ready to walk out the door, this box was waiting on me on my front door way and I was so excited. Uh, went to town, went to the pool, done some things and came home and couldn't get to the box fast enough. And um, I am gonna be revealing it to you. Here's my box. I have not opened it. It is still completely sealed. So you guys are gonna get to reveal with me my curriculum. So let's take a peek inside. So here we are and we are going to open this together today. Nice little kindergarten scissors here. Sorry for all the crackling. So we're gonna reveal this together. So we're gonna open that up. Listen carefully, my packing invoice. Yes, nice and bubble wrap. Kids are gonna have fun with that. Hat. A penny's worth of character, and I will say that um, it's a glare on that. Um, I'm gonna be doing level three with my son who is um, going into the fourth grade with their language arts we started it last year and um, we completed probably a third of it but we did not start on it until after christmas we may have actually um, completed more than a third of it now that i think of it but um anyway uh if you, you can look on her website um, for the good and the beautiful and see that um these are done by levels and not by grade. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off with level three of The Good and the Beautiful. Um, but this is a book that is recommended for a read um, with level three. And this is a penny's worth of character. And I'm just gonna put that down so I'm just gonna open it up for you. So it's black and white. I'm just gonna kind of do a little bit of a flip through here. It's like a pretty easy read for someone third or fourth grade. So I'm not sure if this just goes with a particular lesson, um, but it just said it was um, a requirement for level three. So um, you can kind of see. And not very many pages to this book, about 60 pages, I think. So that's a penny's worth of characters, some nice black and white illustrations on each page. So that's the first thing. And next, um, I ordered level one history, and this can be used with kindergarten through 12th grade. And this is um, Keys of History. This is a game that goes with it, and I'm not gonna open it because I know my littles will be into this and have pieces all over my house. But um, maybe I will do uh, an in-depth um, review or something uh, a little bit later and like and let you actually see what's inside but this is uh, this is the game that goes along with history level one and some more bubble wrap all right everything is nice and sealed so this it looks okay it looks like they have all their language arts together and these nice big sealed and all this is available for free, the language arts, as a download. And I do have it as a download, but I wanted it actually in book format. I just think it works a little bit better um, for my son. So this is level three. And this is the uh, level um, volume one readers. You see it's got some poetry, a bird with a basket, more poetry. Um, I'm just gonna kind of flip through it. Some black and white pictures. These are looks. These are my chapters, um, a bird with, you know, you can kind of see. I just wanted you to kind of look at to see what some of the illustrations look like in here. So this is um, volume one reader. So this is the reader for level three. And just kind of a quick flip through. And you, like I said, you can see all of this on her website. But this is a nice, um, according to my hand, it's, about half the size of a, probably a regular notebook sheet of paper. So I'd probably say a little bit bigger than five by seven, but it's nice and wire bound. This is a nice thick cover on the front. The pages are comparable with any other 
book. So this is um, volume one. And here we have volume two, which is pretty much laid out the same way as volume one. It just keeps the book from being absolutely so thick. So again, it's the same size. It's nice and it's wire bound. So that's good. And then this is level three. This is the actual course book. Now, um, there's a lot, there is, um, if you don't know a lot about what Jane Phillips has written with The Good and the Beautiful, she includes literature, grammar, punctuation, art, geography, spelling, vocabulary, and writing all in one in her courses. And like I said, this is completely downloadable. It's really nicely um, bound. And I don't think, you know, I priced it and for, um, I priced it and for the, the price for me to print it and bound it myself, it was just as well that I go ahead and order it from them and let them have it already printed up for me. But um, I did want you to see, there is some really nice artwork in here. Um, and they will do like art, um, they'll analyze the art and like, this is just an example. They'll take the page and pick out like six nouns or three adjectives or something. So um, it's really well thought out. But what I like about having the PDF and the printed version is that I can just print on, out from the PDF what I want my son to write on, but have the book still bound and not have to use so much ink as far as the, the, the beautiful pictures that are throughout this. Um, and we were just very well pleased with it. And I do have a review from our level three from last year. We'll just continue with that. But I went ahead and bought the printed version because um, I have another son that's coming up and I figured we could just hang on to it and use it for him. And this is the course companion here. And again, all this is available online as well. This is just like the key, um, a daily checklist, what you need to do, and then it's a key to the some of the workbook pages that are there. There's some different um, spelling words that you have, um, and you can see how she explains that in detail on her website as to how you um, will do this. But it's a nice little, it's not, uh, but it's, it's well put together. Very nice um, paper here. And then our challenge words, these are, I believe these are on card stock, so, and um, again, it's explained in the curriculum as to how to use the challenge words. So that's just a, um, it's just a sealed pack of our challenge words. So this um, has so far been language arts and literature level three, and this is what is included in level three. So we'll keep digging and see what else is in the box. Um, so now on to the rest of the history, and it's still nice and bubble wrapped. You've just got a little paper roll to keep everything intact. So everything is packaged really well. They've really taken time and packed this stuff with care. You can tell it's not just thrown together. Um, but this is the year one course book. And again, like I said, this can be, um, you can do samples of this. Now this is not 100% free online, but you can do samples of this online. Um, but I love this. It's just open and closed. You lesson one, it tells you what to do, how long to spend, read to the children, and you have little check boxes. Um, there you are, there's lesson one for you. And um, as I get into here, you'll see, um, there's also some PDF downloads that came with um, like a history uh, explorer, I think is what they call them, which is actually like a little workbook. And it's broke down by grade all the way from first and second all the way up to senior high school. So, I love how this is um, written out. It's gonna be so much fun, and I did buy the PDF and the print copy of the um, History Year One. So this is the course book. And next, it's the big book of history stories. And I'm really excited to, to see this. It's got maps and images, and again, this is um, wire bound. It's a really nice um, cover here for it. Very comparable with a good paperback um, book of anything. So there's little stories in here that's going to relate to different history stories. 
And um, I've seen some other people do some reviews on this, but um, the story of Joseph, just an example. There's some color. Some of these books, some of these stories are actually full color, and then some are actually just black and white. But um, this will be very captivating for a fourth grader to read. And I'm sure that my three-year-old will love to sit in and hear some of these. But I just kind of wanted to let you see what the history pages were going to look like. And this is all broke down in the course book to tell you when you need to read what. So it's not like you're having to piece together and find this and find that. So that is the history. And the history for level one um, included the big book of history stories, the actual course book, the game, and also the PDF download for the actual student explorers, which is basically a packet of um, a packet of um, like a workbook type thing. I'm sorry, I just was at a loss for words there. And now handwriting, and I did get my son handwriting level four. And y'all, I am so excited that this is wire bound at the top. My son is left-handed, so he's always had problems trying to write. So if you're left and you're watching this, you can relate. He's always had problems trying to write with his left hand with the wire bound, if it was a, a wire bound book that he was working in. So this is level four, and level four is gonna have some print and some cursive. It's gonna start out with a basic print. Um, and then they get to color some pictures throughout here. They're actually gonna be, getting to draw some pictures, um, serve the Lord with gladness. I love, um, see this side looks like this is the print side. Oh, and then there's actually some cursive there and same here. And um, this is a scripture. It says, seek you first the kingdom of God, Matthew 6, 33. And uh, a noun is a word for a person, place, or thing is on the other side of this. So I like how she's, pulling a little bit of this and a little bit of that into the handwriting course. So I am super excited. He has horrible handwriting. So maybe later I will do a video of his handwriting um, at the beginning of the year and then at the end of the year and we'll see how he does. Um, but I'm really excited for him to get started on this. Very simple, laid out, easy to do. So um, it's done for you. I love it that he can just pick this up and do it on his own. So that's the handwriting level four. And next, and last but not least, is going to be the science unit for meteorology. And um, this is a unit study, and if you can see, it's for Gates grades, kindergarten through sixth grade. And um, this is available in PDF also, so if you want to just print this yourself, rather than just um, buying this already printed, that's totally an option. Uh, again, I chose to do both just because I didn't want to be trying to print out a bunch of stuff, not have what I needed. So um, I bought both. And I'm going to go ahead and open This is just shrink wrap. It's not bound or anything. And there's a reason for that. But I just kind of wanted to let you guys get a sneak peek of it. Um, this can totally be put in a notebook, put in, uh, you know, whatever you're going to see fit. For you to use and this is really nice quality paper that this is on so far so I'm, I'm really glad that i got the printed version of this because this is some really nice paper to be able to use but again this is um a unit let uh, a unit study so this is not something that's going to last all year um there's 20 lessons and um i think you're supposed to do about two maybe three lessons a week depending on the age of your child so um but this is going to be something that I'm going to be doing with some other moms and we're going to be using this kind of in a co-op setting with our history and our science so i'm really looking forward to what this school year brings but um so far i have been able to share with you my history my language arts handwriting and now science and um, i have a few other things that he's going to be this is just for my fourth grader that he's going to be doing this school year and um, i'll do a video later just to kind of walk you through what we're full course that we're doing. But I'm super excited. We used the Good and the Beautiful last year, just the language arts. And um, I'm super excited to be able to d dive into her history and now her science. 
and I know that my Nathan is going to be really excited to get into this and um, have fun with it. And these are like vocabulary words. You cut these out and put them on like a word wall or, you know, whatever works for you. So this is what the science unit looks like. So I'm going to make this a wrap for this video and I will be doing another video in the near future as to our full course um, for this school year for my fourth grader. And I'll even do a video in the near future for my high school junior and share what curriculum and what route we've decided to go with her. All right, so we got everything unboxed and open and this is not even July yet. So I'm super excited that we're getting this far and ready for our upcoming school year. So stay tuned. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be sharing all about our homeschooling journey this year on this channel. And um, I'm excited to see what this year holds with our new curriculum. So thanks for tuning in today and I'll see y'all next time.